Hello and welcome to this edition of Stay Fit with CNBC TV 18. My name is Shivani Gharat and they say you are as old as your knees. Hence, it is very, very important for you to keep your knees healthy. So, how do you keep your knees healthy? To tell us that, we have renowned physio Heath Matthews with us today. Heath, so good to have you on our show. Thanks, Shivani. Pleased to be here. In this day and age, the way that we walk is very often we're busy and we're trying to get somewhere very quickly. So we stride out a long way in front of us and we land on our heels a lot. For every force that we apply to the earth, that equal and opposite force comes back up our body. What that means is instead of landing out in front of you, try to land a little bit closer to your body. Essentially, you want to be taking steps just about a foot at most in front of your hip. And this is the difficult part, is you should really be landing with the front of your foot first and then absorbing the pressure backwards. So that we're not landing there, but rather there and then coming onto the heel of our foot. As if you're tiptoeing? Yes. What are the exercises that one can do? What I normally say is do joint mobility first. So mobility exercises to open up the ankle. Very, very importantly, mobility exercises to open up your hip and also for your lower back. To start off with, we should be trying to improve dorsiflexion of the ankle. So as we land on the foot, our knee travels ahead and our ankle goes into this dorsiflexed position. So to improve that exercise, I often say stand close to a wall um, and then practice letting your knee go forward so that you can feel the stretch down the back of your leg. So there you got your toes against the wall and now you try and touch your knee to the wall. Fantastic, come out a bit further. So come out just a wee bit further to here. Yes, and now try it again. Go, 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 go. And now the heel is lifted, yes. right? So just do that, go forward. So you work on that flexibility of dorsiflexion over time to get better and better dorsiflexion. The other movement that's very important is developing what we call plantar flexion, which is the opposite angle the opening of the ankle. So to do that, I like to do something called Vajrasan, which is to go down onto your hands and knees, flatten your feet out behind you. All right, if you need to, you can put a pillow behind your legs and then drop yourself down into the pillow. And over time, work it so that you can get comfortably into the position that you're in where the leg is in a very long, straight position. The next very important area to look at from a mobility point of view is the knee. So for that, we lie down in a prone position. You bend your leg up and you try and grasp a hold of your ankle and pull it in towards your bum. Now, what would instinctively happen is that this hip would lift up. Yeah. Okay, so to prevent that from happening, you've got to squeeze your glutes muscles and drive this hip down into, the, into this mat. So your stomach is supporting your back and your glutes are driving your hip down into the mat to prevent your pelvis from rolling. But from there, we lie down on our back and we do the hamstring 90-90. And where that comes from is you need to have a 90 degree angle at your hip, hold onto your thigh, and then you straighten out your knee from there. And that's where you get the stretch coming through the hamstring, okay. Try and keep this leg flat on the floor. Don't let this leg lift up. Keep this leg nice and straight, and then just straighten your foot up. What often happens is we sit too much during the day. So we're in a sitting posture, our hips are bent, our knees are bent, our ankles are dorsiflexed, which is completely opposite to what we need when we're walking, which is triple extension. So the first exercise is to drop down onto your hands and your knees. Keep, keep your knees straight and just try to drop your hips to the floor. And what you'll do is you'll feel a stretch coming through the front of your hip here. Yes. yes? Once you've got that stretch happening, you then slowly drop the knee without taking your body backwards. And then from there, you want to lift your leg up and grab a hold of your knee. What this does is it not only stretches your hip uh, flexors, but simultaneously it gets all the muscles of the quadricep. 
So all of these muscles need to be very free and flexible to make sure that you don't load your knee. Hey, thank you so much. Thanks for sharing these tips with us. I hope these tips will help you have those healthy knees. That's it for now. Till I see you next time. Sweat, smile, repeat.